everyone, this is Eloise and Mommy. Today we're going to be reading Phoebe Sounds It Out. But Phoebe Sounds It Out. Phoebe! Are you ready? Yeah, yeah. Okay, are you guys ready at home? Yeah. Phoebe. Phoebe pulled on her rain boots. Mama called them galoshes and Grammy called them wellies. But Phoebe called them rain boots because that's what they were for, splashing about in the rain. Phoebe liked her rain boots a lot. Do you have rain boots? Yes. Do you like them? Yes, I really love the rainbow ones. They're cute. But it wasn't raining today, so Phoebe decided to call them sun boots. And now she was ready for school. Phoebe's favorite teacher was Ms. Martha. She was kind and smart. When Ms. Martha saw Phoebe in her sun boots, she said, well, we'll just have to put the sprinklers on after lunch and splash around. Miss Martha totally understood boots. But first, said Miss Martha, let's work on writing our names. The other teacher, Miss April, put a big basket of pencils on the table and got out her guitar. Miss April liked singing better than talking. Phoebe chose a pencil and then decided putting her right sun boot on her left foot and her left sun, bo sun boot on her right foot was more important. Phoebe's toes felt wrong in her boots. Miss April sat down beside her. Phoebe, we're writing our names. Give it a try. Phoebe had seen her name before. Mama had even stitched it on her ladybug backpack, but it started with a P and had a whole lot of other letters that didn't make sense. Phoebe figured her mother had made a mistake. She didn't want Mama to feel bad about it because everyone makes mistakes, even Mama's. Just sound it out. Phoebe put down her pencil and picked up another one. Then she held it under her nose and pretended it was a mustache. <laughs> Miss April was floating around the table singing quietly just sound it out, just sound it out. Phoebe sounded out the first letter of her name. <laughs> well, this was certainly not how her name began on her backpack. E e P e was for p -p -p popcorn and popcorn. pencils. She knew the letter that made the right sound. E P, one line and two sticks. P. -p, -p. E the next sound was E. Phoebe drew one and then threw in an extra so that the first E wouldn't feel so lonely. Maybe that's what Mama was thinking when she stitched that crazy O. And now Phoebe was on a letter that she loved. The only one that made sense on the ladybug backpack when she sounded it out. A bubble and a stick. The hard part was getting it to face the right way. You can relate to that, can't you, Eloise? Mm -hmm. At the end of her name was the E sound again. Phoebe wanted to try something e. different. Maybe she could borrow the letter that was at the end of Nikki's name. It sounded right. Nikki wouldn't mind. Nikki. Miss Martha came over and looked at the children's work. Hmm, something's not right, she said. And she turned and walked away. Phoebe's boots felt hot on her feet. Maybe they really were only for rainy days. Miss Martha returned and placed a box on the table. We forgot to decorate our names with glitter glue. Phoebe liked glitter glue a lot. She opened the orange tube and squished it all over her name. It sparkled and shone. When Phoebe ran out of glitter glue, she switched her right sun boot onto her right foot and her left sun boot onto her left foot. Ah, that felt better. Phoebe handed her name to Miss Martha, who smiled and said, what a great start. The end. That was a great book. Bye. Bye, everybody.